Joe from North Carolina reached out to us on Facebook and he asked us how we would paint a purple robe. To do that, we're gonna be using a brand new miniature from our friends at Parabellum and their Conquest game. The paints that you're going to need for this tutorial are Alien Purple, Oozing Purple, Mummy Robes, and our Purple Tone Quick Shade Wash. We began with a prime of Gunmetal Color Primer Spray. That's because most of the model is in fact metallic armor and this is gonna save us loads of time later on. Then we're gonna apply some Alien Purple to our palette and we're just gonna thin it down with a little bit of water. This is to ensure that we don't obscure any of the detail on the model. With that thinned down Alien Purple and Regiment brush, we're just gonna begin basing in all of our purple all over the robes on the model. Very simple stuff here. We are just coloring inside the lines. Now we're gonna apply a second coat of the Alien Purple. This is to ensure that we have a nice, rich purple base tone to work on and apply washes to and highlights later. Now, if you get any of the purple on top of the armor bits like you see here, don't worry. Our color primers are a 100% match to our war paints with the same name. So you can just go in and apply that color and fix your mistakes very simply. With the base coat dry, we are moving on to the wash step. Now we're using Quick Shade Purple Tone Wash and we are applying this right out of the bottle. We're not thinning this down at all and applying it very liberally all over the robes on the model, making sure to work that wash into the folds and recesses for instant contrast and shading. Now that the wash is dried, we're gonna reestablish that base tone. And we're going right back to Alien Purple and we're applying this all over the raised areas on the model. As you can see here, the tops of the folds on the robe. Now, we wanna make sure that we focus on only the raised edges, leaving that wash in the recesses. We're going back to the palette. This time we're mixing in some oozing purple with our alien purple for our first highlight. We've moved on to our character brush, which provides a finer tip than the regiment brush, which we were using in the previous steps. And that's great because what we're trying to achieve with this highlight is a more focused highlight with that 50-50 mix of oozing purple and alien purple on top of those raised areas and folds. Remember, we've thinned down these paints, so that gives us a lot of versatility and freedom in working with this highlight. As you can see here, what we're trying to do on this fold, we're just focusing on the, the topmost area of this fold right in the center, and then we're pulling that paint down and blending it into our initial highlight, ensuring not to get that paint inside of the recesses. In this fine highlight of oozing purple, we're moving on to our insane detail brush, and it's easy to see why this is the best selling brush in the entire Army Painter range. That's because it offers you extreme control when you're working on these super focused highlights, as you can see here. This is our final step, but if you wanna take it one step further, we're gonna add a little bit of mummy robes to that oozing purple mix, and just add, as you can see here, just little dots of that 50-50 mix of mummy robes and oozing purple to the most raised areas on the model. And there you have it. That's how we would paint a purple cloak. Thanks again to Joe for his submission. If you'd like to submit a topic for one of our how-to videos, be sure to give us a mention on Facebook and tag us at The Army Painter. Remember, the magic in miniature painting is that it can be as simple or as challenging as you want it to be. If you follow these steps, you're sure to achieve some great results the next time you paint a purple cloak.